Is the Renis Alma really our only hope against the Great Spirit? Xion's Fire Master Core was able to suppress astral energy to prevent it from gaining sentience, right? Couldn't we make use of that somehow? I'm not sure. In small doses, maybe. And with the amount of energy we're talking about here. Back in Calaglia, the Blazing Sword was able to take in a whole spirit vessel's worth of energy. If it has the capacity to manage that, it can do this, right? Except after it absorbed the energy, it ended up releasing it all moments later, remember? Let's not forget, it nearly killed you. Besides, this is the great speaking about, not a paltry vessel. Even if I could use the Master Core, your body wouldn't be able to take the strain of channeling that much energy. Everect 35 didn't mention it, and it did not seem the type to skimp on details. So assuming it's even possible, the chances are slim to none. You're probably right. You still thinking about what the scientists told us? About where Renans really come from? I am, but not for myself. You're worried about the future of the Renan people. The fact that our people have been the same this whole time will only give the Danans further reason to resent us. But you still intend to confront this truth head on, don't you? Well... I did declare that I would live my life for the living, and not the dead. Even as I dream of retirement, I shall remain dedicated to the cause. I'm sure you'll do great. Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever heard you criticize or reproach us Renans even once. I'm no saint. I have skeletons in my closet too. There was definitely a time when I hated Renans for who they were. I hated them just for being Renan. But you changed that, Dohalim. Thanks to your reforms, we were able to stand next to Renans not as slaves, but as equals for the first time in our lives. Of course, I'm sure there were some Renans who still hated us on the inside. But we knew that not all of you were like that. There were those of you who were good, and that was a start. When it comes down to it, Renans are just people. They can be good or bad, just like Danans. That is, in essence, the heart of your approach, isn't it? That we're all people. Yeah, it is. When you can pull someone aside and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, then you have the chance to come to an understanding. But as soon as you stereotype, that chance goes away, and you stop thinking of them as people that you can relate to. I understand what you're saying. But we're talking about massive numbers of Renans and Danans alike. Realistically speaking, surely they won't all be able to get along. Even if we end up butting heads with one person, maybe we'll find better luck among their friends. If we can build a society that works like that, that'll be something worth nurturing and protecting. So you wish for people to form real bonds and do away with the hierarchy outright? to deal with one another as humans, and nothing more. That's the ideal future you hope to see when this is all over? Yes, I do. I think it would make for a fine tribute to my brother's legacy. Though, that said, I would be doing it for the people of the future first and foremost. Do you still plan to return to Lenigus when this is over? Indeed I do. I don't know whether I'll be able to reside in Lenigus proper, however. My first order of business may be to find somewhere to live. You'll always have a home in Menencia, you know. <laughs> As I shall ever keep in mind. Well, if you ever need a helping hand, don't hesitate to come get me. I'll always be there for you, Doe. 
Did you just... <laughs> Never mind. Thank you, Kisara. I appreciate your patience as I work all this out. Don't even mention it. And really, when you think about it, now that we know the two of us aren't so different after all, don't you think that brings down a barrier that used to be between us? You know, I hadn't actually thought of it that way before. <laughs> but I do like the sound of it. Yeah, I think I do too. Why'd you call me here? Was there something you wanted to talk about? Well, if everything we've heard about the Great Spirit is true, then we're getting close to our final battle. So I wanted to apologize while I can. Apologize? For what? I was being real stupid before, about whether Dana's will had been controlling us and all that. I get why you're angry now. Anybody would be if something they trusted was being questioned. So, I'm sorry, Runwell. Really. I should have kept my mouth shut. No, Law. Honestly, I think you might have been onto something. Of course you were worried. Who wouldn't be if they found out there might be some invisible force pulling our strings this whole time? But you... you really tr- Yeah, but I think... I also- Believe? Remember how I used to really resent coming from- Yeah, of course. Beca when we rescued Zephyr and... and I finally decided to come along with you, it was the first time. I felt like then, when I felt Dana's will, it made me want to believe my past. So that's- Yeah. Well, all right. You will? There's no way for me- Uh... Hmm? That's not quite- Uh... E I sensed it, but- so you're saying, in a way... What? Well, like you... Yeah. Ever 35, but... So thanks, Rin. Ah. Uh, to be honest, I feel... Huh? Uh... Huh? Saying... Come saying on! Anything. Thinking? No, that's thing. that's been spin... Um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to get some rest? I've got too much on my mind. Especially- Same as you, still- Remember when it was so simple, we were only fighting all the lords on Dana? Ages and ages ago. Everything that's happened since we first met. If I hadn't run into you that day, well, I wouldn't have met all of you. I wouldn't have my memories back. I'd still be a faceless slave, and like as not long dead. Hey, Alfin, I want you to promise me something. Yeah? If we can't find the Renis Alma, there's something I want you to do. Like Hevrecht 35 said, the only way we can end the Great Spirit for good is to go after both the main body and Rena, and that I need you to promise me, Alfin, that if for you'll use the Blazing Sword to destroy the Great Spirit, and me along with it. Huh? It's true the Blazing Sword may not have the strength, but it's taken us this far. It's slain Lord- You can't be serious. Think Listen, that the Great Spirit isn't just our problem. We don't know what's going to happen when we face it, but we need to be prepared for anything. I promise you, I'm not planning on going anywhere, but if it comes down to it- Okay, but you should know that I'm not going to give up on you, Shion. I hope you can forgive- Alfin, okay. <sighs> so it's a prom- Yeah. My thorns made any contact a mistake no one would ever make twice. After they'd seen what could happen, fear would always linger by- But when you reached out to me, and gently took- I don't have words for the shock I- That's because I couldn't feel pain- Even once you could, though, you still chose to keep reaching out to me. But still, I hate having to see you- You won't have to worry about- You think so? I do, because I- No. You can tell me once my thorns are gone. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I 
everybody get enough rest? Yeah, we should probably- Agreed. Can't- Our task is relatively straightforward. We're fighting for a new future for both Dana and Red. Right. We've come this far. Then let's go, everybody. Repairs on your starship are complete. Is that you, Hevrek 35? I can. I can. Sounds like someone's a pe- Maybe we should give Hevrek 35 a break. I have unlocked all functions on your- Warp drive? Wait, you mean like- what? It's possible that the Red Women may have found a way to activate- Using the warp- Wait. You'll need to be careful. Due to the force field surrounding- So, once we reach the shell, it appears we'll have- We gotta go all the way down- Will all the Helganquil go back to normal once we defeat the Great Spirit? The extinction of my people is, as such, it would be illogical to risk the six- hmm. Can't that thing lighten up a bit? Everything it says seems to be- Well? <clears throat> Hold up. You heard the lady- I have one last- What? As Sovereign, your identification- Similarly, the Maiden lacks any identification number as her- Despite this, the two of- May exist because others have entrusted this to us. Over the years, many people have come together and sworn to see this through to the end. You mean it is because of multiple chance interactions? The likelihood of such events is statistically improbable. Why have you two continued to persist under these conditions? It's hard to explain. To be honest, I don't think it's something an observer could understand. All right. Time to get back on the Fall Knights. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is... dead. Then this must be the Hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world? The entire ocean is... that stuff? And it's covering... This is what the Great Spirit does. So arresting. Back in its day, but after being robbed of its... So the Great Spirit took... And it found the Helganquil in sir with nothing left here. You're saying if we don't stop... We can be sure that even these... If the Oblivion and Darkness... It looks like we can... Let's take a look. So this is Rena. This is where everything began. Yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer this. Same fate. Ever. A hollowed ocean is far. What do you mean, what would happen? Come to think of it, I don't believe- no. This is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. 
Are you? No, because I said taking an interest is understandable. But let's not forget. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this. You think I was already snorkeling in it or. So the idea is to seal the great. I'm guessing it won't be as easy. I already had wielded astral energy once. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength. It's in other words, we need to find. Back when Shion's thorns flew out. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up. Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think a lot will have to change, that's for sure. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Renan rule. That's true. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No, not differences so much as... It will take someone in power to set an example. But with time, there will no longer be any need for the example. That's where we come in. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? I wonder what Helganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Is this about dinner last night? I what? No, I mean... Rinwell, the point. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was... Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least... Right. So it kind of begs... I don't know, makes them more intimidating, I guess? You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the ex... Can't say I'd ever noticed it. Connect the dots! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed... Huh. It would mean... Just not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well I... Get him, Hoodle. Ah! Ah! Oh! oh! What did I... Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle! Ah! Ow, ow, ow! Seriously, what the hell? You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. 
them. I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that... If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap... Well, I guess when you look at it that way, 